Light tanks are my favorite class in World of Tanks, and so I got super excited when I heard that Wargaming is introducing the new LKPZ-70 with the 17 degrees of gun depression. Having this much gun depression can be insanely strong in some situations, but since you have to use the suspension, it's not so easy to make full use of it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayuxin, and today I'm going to share with you my opinion about the new LKPZ-70. This gun depression, like, amount of the positions you can go to is just insane. Like, we don't know yet positions for this thing, as somebody said earlier. But this... This shit is so annoying. Do you see how it's... <laughs> Let's start with the most important values for light tanks. Camouflage and view range. LKPZ has 380 meters base view range. This is pretty average for a tier 8 light tank. So nothing special here. With my crew skills, food and bounty optic, I managed to get 480 meters view range. It's great, so we can spot, right? Well, the problem is that we have only 16% base camo. This is the same value as HWK12, WZ132 and LTTB. And if you look at the win rate of tier 8 light tanks, we will find that those are among the worst. So with average view range and bad camo, we could assume that this tank will perform poorly. But... Let's not jump this fast in the conclusions. The LKPZ has another ace up its sleeves. If you sort the uh, tier 8 lightning's performance by average damage, you will be surprised to find out that LKPZ players deal the most damage, more than EBR75FL, and almost twice as much as Tech 3 lights. And that is because of our insane gun, specifically HE rounds with 105mm of pen, and 100 meters per second shell velocity. With such gun characteristics, you want to do damage, and you should. This is the best way to stay consistent with this light tank and with all of the light tanks in general. But does this make LKPZ an OP premium? You see, since it's a new tank, we are still learning where can we use our gun depression. And it's crazy how often I got surprised about being able to play on a random rage line. But I have to say, it's super hard to play with it. And I would not recommend this thing for new players. Since you don't have strong camo, like ELC even 90, you will struggle to be an effective scout. And you will have to perform using your gun. This is super challenging for tank with no armor. So what's the best way of playing this thing? I would recommend playing LKPZ moderately safe at the very beginning and try not to lose HP. Focus enemy light tanks using your HE rounds with 105mm of pen. And once those are dead, you are going to be able to dominate and spot in late game. While collecting enough experience to open field mods, I was playing with full spotting equipment just to make sure I'm not going to miss out on spotting maps and have the best results there. Once I unlocked the second build, I got doing damage setup with the gun rammer, low noise exhaust and vents. Having a second build is massive on maps where spotting is hard or impossible. In such situations, I play this tank like a medium and focus on doing damage. And I handpicked for you four games in which I'm going to demonstrate both strong sides of LKPZ as well as its weaknesses. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Like, they're decent. I think E77 is really good. It's tier 9 premium on top of it. So that's massive. You farm bones, credits. Um, I think IMX ELC. So ELC IMX. ELC even 90 is a better lighting than this. 
Uh, but uh, with this tank you can uh, do damage easier. And uh, much more. 80 rounds are super, super fun. In my opinion. Like 105 pen on tier 8. It's crazy. Like, I think it's harder to find a tank that you cannot pen with the HE. To that you can. On this tier. And minus 17 degrees of gun depression. I was demonstrating it on Muravanka. That you can uh, do nice stuff with it. Okay, we have to wait. No need to pressure. Just have to wait. The best equipment on ISU. One second. Um, turbo. Low noise. Improved aiming. Uh, the pen with the HEs on this two is 105. But insane shell velocity. Same as on APCR, super fast. Oh, TVP left. Yo, this opens up opens up a little bit of uh, opportunities, guys. Let's load hit. This is experimental peak, okay? It can be pretty bad. Hmm. Uh, is it the highest velocity on HE in the game? No, I would not. Uh, I, no. I'm not sure which one is the highest, but uh, definitely not. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. Um, e77 is pushing forward. Close round that we have to win. We're gonna slowly chip away from this. Uh, oh, he's not. He does not have U range. Oh, he's in troubles there. He cannot play there anymore. Every time he wants to peek, we are gonna be focusing him. I'm gonna sit with my back. Do I have any problems with the... Gun? No, no gun depression on the back. I mean, no problem with gun depression on the back. So that's amazing. You know, like on some tanks you cannot shoot back. Um, like Centurion, for example. T95, how low there? He might try to look for a blind fire here. Seems like he is. I'm just gonna spot him for RT. So scary. Nice. STRV is at the bottom. Hmm. If our Yudus would just push like this, uh, I feel like we would break it through. Um. And like once we get uh, this control, then we automatically get the base. TVP cannot play there anymore. And then we go here to farm E77. Oh, hello, my friend. I spotted him at 444 meters, guys. Wow. 
He decided to do a blind shot. And ultimately regrets. But guys, look at this. Slowly, slowly. It builds up. Oh. Slowly we... Oh, he's on the move, guys. He's in, on the run. On the run back to the garage. It makes me think that there isn't much cover there anymore. That he's running now. We just need a tank with the HP. Support my position. To clear it. I unfortunately cannot do that. Ah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna take our time. Already 3.6 thousand combine it. This guy doesn't learn. Okay, Conway is going. This might be completely abandoned, by the way. Never mind. There is some rats here. I got spotted probably by the ELC. I think ELC is still here, but I'm just going to play as if he's not. GG Okay, this is something that needed to be done guys Rats extermination Uh oh Nice they don't seem to pay attention at me. Alright, 4.2 thousand damage. By far the greatest uh, damage. By far. And I have to say that on this tank, having intuition is probably the most important crew skill. Because you want to have all three... Uh, you want to use all three types of armor. I would like to track him there, even with no damage. I panned that! Alright. 4.9 thousand damage, 2.1 thousand assistance. I have to say guys, with this tank, it is extremely difficult to be just a scout. Uh, because you don't have the greatest camouflage, you don't have the size, so finding a bush in which you can uh, hide yourself uh, can be a challenge but if you try to play off of uh, your gun depression and uh, get use of the HE it builds up and uh, against tier 10 we end up with the 4.9 thousand damage 2.1 thousand assistance and <laughs> uh, get out with the uh, 243 thousand credits mamma mia Okay, chat, our goal, 3,000 combine it. If we don't do 3,000 combine it, I should eat the Everest Mount, Mountain Everest. And I think we might be able to do it. So, our goal is to rush to the heavy side and use one bush to play full down. Hope everything is okay. Everything is indeed okay. Thank you. This RT seems to be a professional. He is blinding on, uh, on unspotted things. So I want to knock these three and try to use my gun depression here. I don't know who but you are. Guys, I think it might work. Bro. 
But this... This shit is so annoying. Do you see how it's... <laughs> yeah, I told you guys this art is a professional. Okay, there is enough tanks uh, that are gonna be making mistakes. Let's go back a little bit. I feel like this tank... It's not about spotting. But uh, doing damage in situations like this... Oh. Oh. We gotta have to run soon, guys. Okay, skadoodle boys! Go back to the base. If I make it... I'm telling you, this arty is a professional. If I, if I make it out, guys, minus 17 degrees of gun depression on the top of the hill, we might get our 3k combined. But what's the alpha damage? 240. For 7 seconds reload? Not that bad, I guess. Not that bad. Okay. Mm. We, we're probably definitely gonna have to carry a little bit more heat rounds. And a little bit less APCRs. Blesk, come back! You have your clip ready. You really want to do... Do the brrrr. Nice, nice, nice. Good boy. Now he got spotted. He wants to go back and... Okay, HEs are absolutely amazing. This is the same penetration with HE rounds as on... Uh, RU-251. And with RU-251, if you know what you're doing, you can pen everything, basically. By the way, guys, I have enough gun depression to shoot down here using this bush. <laughs> All right. Seems like we might win this round. Okay. Lesk is out. Seven and three has a lot of HP and holding the bridge. Now we just have to wait. I mean, I could go down. I don't think they're gonna push this anytime soon. Since they haven't uh, already. I could uh, check what's the KV4 doing. Let's see how good our speed really is. Opa, Arty killed the Yoke. But they might start going now. Okay, KV4 is kinda low. 268 heat rounds pen. Mm hmm. I can't possibly think of pushing forward, can I? No. Oh. Okay. Hmm. No, I cannot. Like, if I try to do damage on the board, I mean... Okay, now Blesk.
Hmm. Let's go back, guys. Let's play it slow. Kilana is perfectly fine here, playing cooldown. Uh, let's go up. Let's put our gun depression to use. Uh, my graphic settings available. Do exclamation point settings. We have setting video. We have a uh, screenshot. Enjoy. Hello, Raziel. Okay, KV4 is down. Honestly, pushing Blesk right now wouldn't be that bad of an option. But let's see what's happening here. Do I not just blind fire this bush? Let's see how it is. Like about there. I don't know who you are! Yeah, he is there. Uh, chained by fate. Thank you so much for the prime, my friend. Thank you. Oh, he moved. Hmm. Someone is blinding from over there. If it wasn't Luva, guys. Nice. <sighs> Mistake was made. I would have a great pleasure killing this artillery, not gonna lie, boys. But I might be just a little too late. Luver reload is insane. What is that? Opa, hello there. Okay, gentlemen. Not quite 3,000 combined, I might have to chew on the mountain Everest. I don't think we get any blind shots. Because we didn't shoot any, right? But uh, you do want to shoot a lot of heat. Because it has uh, such drastic change in pen. 260 from 190. And better shell velocity. So... Like, if you want to perform with this tank, you might have to lose uh, a little bit on the credits farm. And uh, using this gun depression thing, I didn't figure it out yet. But seems very, very complicated. Not, not human design. You know what I mean? You do have this minus 17, but it's... Eating Mountain Everest, it is. <laughs> I was one shot away, guys. Uh, 2.8 thousand combined. So my plan... Is to get some assistance. With the 44% camo on the move... I might be getting outspotted. Ooh... Okay, it seems like I'm here all alone. I haven't figured out yet uh, what's this gun is all about. Wait, is this position? Complete counter? If the enemies are pushing middle? I think I can just load HE here.
hundred pen, guys. <laughs> okay, it's all fun until Arty hits me. I think the Hellcat is right there. Oh man. Guys, kill this shit! Nice. Hmm. Wait. Uh, it's bouncing so much. Okay, the turret sure is small. But do you see how much it bounces? It makes it kind of difficult to play. To use your gun depression. I think you are never gonna be able to use your 17 degrees of gun depression. Unless you have like a bush. If you have a bush to peek behind... Maybe, but... Wow! Okay. This gun depression is insane. But it it is it like it it's like ticking in slowly. I'm not sure what's the speed limitation. Like at what speed do, does it get activated automatically? Man, the gun drummer would be awesome on this thing. But uh, 2.9 thousand damage, 1300 assistance. I feel like it could be quite a fun tank to play. Alright. Wait. Huh? 183,000? Hello? Guys, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, this thing farms. Okay, boys, we are about to cook, man. Chat! Chef Ayuxin is in the kitchen! What are we cooking, boys? Order the dishes! Let's go! Perfect map! Shit lightings in the enemy team! <laughs> 5,000 at the very least, man! So, I mean, they have double board. Oh, thank you. He knocked the tree for me. Okay, one light tank is there. One board is there. Minus 17 degrees of gun depression, guys! I just won the middle. I just won the middle. 
They didn't see this shit coming, man. Oh. Okay. I think he's around there. We're also missing Borat, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Oh, Yudus. Hi. Hungry damage. Worth it. Do I just go and clean it? I might lose a lot of HP, boys. But the sooner we do it, the sooner we clean up the other side. And I said 5k. Nobody here. Okay, HE rounds are not on point so far, guys. He's turning towards me. But why, man? Why so hostile? Yeah, 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 turn away. Hi. Oh, imagine having a turret, bro. Wait, how about we test our gun depression from the top, boys? Listen. This is wicked, boys! This gun depression, like, amount of the positions you can go to is just insane. Like, we don't know yet positions for this thing, as somebody said earlier. We just don't know it yet, because no tank has 17 degrees of gun depression. And it might have been... It might be, guys, that uh, Chef Ayuxin really cooked. Oh. Can I pen his lower plate with 190 pen? No. Gotta shoot gold. And then this wild HE rounds. Oh. I meant to say classic HE rounds, guys. Oh. But uh, I have to say that uh, we haven't played yet. Ooh. We haven't played yet with a f uh, full doing damage setup because I didn't want it to risk uh, on having an amazing map and uh, not having spotting equipment. What is it? 6k? 6k combined. Not bad at all. How much credits? Wait, how much credits it is? 3.2 thousand damage, 2.7 thousand assistance. Uh, I feel like this tank would fit me perfectly because I love doing damage with light tanks. Uh, if you see any video of me playing with lights, I always uh, do damage. And with this performance, we end up making 200k. I mean, that's a lot. Obviously, 3k damage and 3k assistance, it's just its just a lot. My friends, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know what you think about LKPZ as well as the, the video that you just watched. I love reading your comments and always open to improve based on your feedback. Thank you so much for watching and 
We're going to see you on our next upload.